that is elements. It's elements to a charge, especially when you start talking about gang charges, because that's when Rico, Rico come in. Now at the state level, they can hit you with the Rico, but it's really hard to prove it unless motherfuckers are actually giving them the full inside of what's going on, who got what, and what's going on. So they drop it down to gang criminality. Now on gang criminality, it's less elements that they have to show to indict you. Oh. It don't, uh, by, the, by state law, in order to get back in it has to be five or more people organized. So it doesn't have to, ha- it, it doesn't have to have, to have no murders involved in it. I could be, I'm a low level dealer and I can get the Rico. All I do is move two ounces a week. But I buy the two ounces and give it to two other little dudes. And them two little dudes got two dudes under them that sell it for them. They take their cut, I get my cut, and that's how we do it. I'm eligible for the RICO by federal status. And the way they do it, I'm a low level dealer, but this is how they do it to black men. This is what I'm saying. They do it to people of color because I done been around white dudes since I've been locked up. That's locked up for stealing millions, shipping this across seas, and they don't get no time. Uh, um, I'm selling two ounces. Uh, the feds will do this. They'll start buying. Now they buying. Now they like, all right, he only sell two. They know I sell two ounces a week. So they're going to investigate me for nine to six months. Mm-hmm. Now, with that nine to six months, they're going to stack up my two ounces a week. So when I get locked up, they're going to estimate, oh, he was, he was moving such and such pounds. He had an organization. They blow it up bigger than what it is. So... Hold up. So you think we, well, I know is a, is definitely different how laws apply to black people. But you think it's the representation that uh, the other nations is getting, or is just straight railroad when we get there? To be honest with you, it's, it's, I'm not even going to say railroad because you got to see how the world perceives us as us when it comes down to streets. What's portrayed on TV? What's portrayed in our rap music? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, well, people don't pay attention to the good stuff. They rather pay attention to the negative because the negative is more exciting. So now that's all throughout society now. There's 20 people in the group and only two people in the group bad people. But them two people gave all 20 a bad name. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because so, that, that group mentality, that herd mentality, yeah, they look at so, you like you just part of the you, whole group. If, mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're getting judged by people, it's not from your neighborhood. The judge only is not from your neighborhood. He ain't grow up with your mother. He not, he never went to school in your city. He from four cities over in the suburbs. And he policing your country. He policing your neighborhood. He giving out life in your neighborhood. He don't know the struggles you've been through. He don't know that this person might have been trying to kill you. He not looking at that. He looking at when he see you step in front of him multiple times. People that look like you multiple times, it's the same thing. This is what these people do. They're violent, they're this, they're that. I heard it before. They, like, use, they use the same spill every time you go to court. It's the same script. And at the end of the day, you know right? what? I, I believe that because it's like going to work. They look at it as just going to work, and they're not really looking at it as like this is somebody' life on the line. So these judges right. and all of these bellows and all these people become detached. The same thing I was saying in healthcare, like they straight did test because it's just a job when somebody else's life is on the line. But two, like you said, the discrimination that comes in that's applied. But what that goes to say, when a lot of us notice, we know how the system literally sets us up when we get in there, they start to bombard us. What you think could be least one mechanism that like one black man can do on his own that that you think that you could have did you know like you know what i'm saying just to kind of avoid that system just one thing because there's not a lot of people out there that got self-driven so there's not a lot of people who right. who are are guided to do but you know because you've been in the situation if you could think back of one thing that's like damn what could i have did just a little bit different but as far as what getting locked up or in life in general the perspective because you always had the hustle mentality because we need that i think it's the hustle mentality 
that we have as black people, but it's just like how it's applied. You know what it is? You know what it is? That I wish, like, now that you're saying hustling mentality, because I never took that word hustle as in everything, everyday life is hustling. Everything, all these businesses is hustling around me. These companies are hustling. They're pushing their product on me. I, I didn't take hustling as that. I took hustling as selling drugs. Okay. I took hustling as doing something illegal, okay. not knowing that the same energy I'm putting in to this, to make this run, I could put my energy in something legit. In the same way I'm pushing this product, I could push these t-shirts and actually make some money, like, without putting myself in danger. And still having that freedom, because I think that's another thing we don't like to be told what to do and you know just have our own right. thing so that's what's up because right, i'm right. glad that click that was like a click we got like two minutes on the phone but that's a click because this is, i think that's the issue with a lot of young black men they look at hustle and it's so just attached to a negative perspective but now you know we yeah. got this hustle mentality where people are like nah it's a hustle have a business this that and the third so it's i really you know i really appreciate the change in the tone you know with black people really waking up to that but at the end of the day you know we still kind of caught in a system right right and it's crazy because they be like yo people be like yo the system is designed to go against us i say yeah but at the same time this system you can actually get what you need out this system exactly it's designed to work against us but at the same time it's easy to follow it's easy to jump into the into the uh, shit that's gonna make you fast money and then get you somewhere fast because in that situation you win this fuck. You have 60 seconds remaining. If you're in a fucked up situation and you trying to pay the rent or your mom and your little sister and them hungry, you're not thinking about that. You're not thinking about, all right, I'm gonna stay down so I come up. Like, how fast can I do this? Yeah, you're not thinking about all your options. You're thinking about instant gratification right. and what could happen right. fast. But that's what's up because exactly like you said, it, you look at the system for what it is, but you got to learn how to maneuver it and, and, and not get caught in it. So I, I definitely you feel you because that's the mindset. That's the mindset that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Especially with this YouTube. Right. We about to take this YouTube streets over. Baby.